How to live with an allergy to sulfites. Managing a sulfite allergy can be extremely difficult because many common food items contain sulfite preservatives. These additives are used to prevent the growth of mold and bacteria, stop discoloration, and maintain the strength of some medications. Depending on the severity of your allergy, you may need to avoid all foods and drugs that may contain sulfites, which will require you to strictly manage your diet. Even so, despite your best efforts, you may still ingest sulfites, at which point you will need to be able to be able to recognize the symptoms of and treat a reaction. With a research and preparation, you may be able to avoid sulfites and deal with an allergic reaction if you come into contact with them. Managing your diet. Research the foods and drugs that contain sulfites. If you are diagnosed with a sulfite allergy, you will want to familiarize yourself with the long list of items that may contain sulfites. Talk to your doctor about your medications to ensure that you are not taking anything that contains sulfites. You should also determine what foods and drinks are safe for you to ingest. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration created a detailed list of common products that contain sulfites. Although you will not memorize them at first, you eventually begin to recognize what foods to avoid. Consider printing off the list of the foods containing sulfites and carry it with you. This will help you avoid them while you are out. You can find a copy of the FDA's list at http colon slash slash edis.ifas.ufl.edu slash phi 731. Check the product packaging. Check the nutritional label on and any food before buying or eating it. In the United States, the FDA requires products containing a certain amount of sulfites more than 10 parts per million be labeled appropriately. Be sure to check the label while you are buying groceries, that way you avoid wasting money on a product that may be unhealthy. Although some foods have naturally occurring sulfites, there have been no recorded instances of people having allergic reactions to them. In the United States, check nutritional labels for sulfur dioxide, potassium bisulfite, potassium metabisulfite, sodium bisulfite, sodium metabisulfite, and sodium sulfite. Although some foods have naturally occurring sulfites, there have been no recorded instances of people having allergic reactions to them. In the United States, check nutritional labels for sulfur dioxide, potassium bisulfite, potassium metabisulfite, sodium bisulfite, sodium metabisulfite, and sodium sulfite. Avoid any processed foods, wines or beers. As a rule of thumb, avoid most canned or processed foods, which contain high levels of sulfites. Any pickled or preserved items will have high sulfite levels, as will most processed baked goods. Wine and beer should also be avoided since sulfites are often used to control fermentation. Ask about your food. When you eat out, be sure to inquire about how your food is prepared. Although the FDA bans sulfites from fresh fruits and vegetables in restaurants, in labeled products are still used. Ask the waiter or manager to check the packaging that your food came in to see if it contains sulfites. At a restaurant, avoid any potato product that has had its peel removed. It likely has high levels of sulfite. When dining out, you should only eat baked potatoes that still have their skin. At a restaurant, avoid any potato product that has had its peel removed. It likely has high levels of sulfite. When dining out, you should only eat baked potatoes that still have their skin. Prepare your own food. The easiest way to avoid sulfites is to buy and cook your own food. Purchase foods that are low in or have no sulfites and then prepare them at home. This will ensure that your food is not getting cross-contaminated with items containing sulfites. For those with severe allergies, this may be the only way to avoid coming into contact with sulfites. The FDA prohibits the addition of sulfites to fresh fruits and vegetables. The FDA also prohibits the addition of sulfites to red meat. Consider growing some of your own produce to eat from a home garden. The FDA prohibits the addition of sulfites to fresh fruits and vegetables. The FDA also prohibits the addition of sulfites to red meat. Consider growing some of your own produce to eat from a home garden.